I'm not going to be using my degree because my older room also reminded me of high school with mental health. It's like up and down. It was one of the best decisions I ever made in my whole life. They came in my life at such a perfect time. Fast forward to like a couple months from now and we'll be in LA. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm so excited you're here. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. Okay, so. For today's video, I am going to be filming a little life update slash Q&A that I have asked you guys on my Instagram. And you guys left some really great questions, so I'm super excited to be answering them today. So I guess we'll just jump right into it and let's start with the first question. I think to start off, we should do this one. So somebody just said, how are you? I would say that I'm pretty good in this current moment. About like a month ago, I was not in the best headspace. My mental health was very much not okay. I was in the process of leaving my college apartment and moving back home. And I think that transition was like really not good for me for some reason. Even though I had the best people around me and just everything was perfect. I don't really understand why, but I was just like going through it. I'm finally back to my normal self, but I've noticed that with mental health, it's like up and down. Every day is different, so I just take it day by day, but I would say today I'm feeling really inspired and motivated to be filming. So that is when I know that my mental health is good because I have the, the motivation to film and talk to you guys. So thank you for asking. Somebody said, what are you up to these days? I know I've been gone for quite some time. I was posting like once a month and I feel like you guys don't really know my life. And so I really wanted to come on here and really get into it and really just connect with you guys. I just recently graduated college, which I'm so happy to be done with school because I was just not a schoolgirl. I graduated with my psychology degree and I had a minor in education. I'm not going to be using my degree as of right now. I really want to try to focus on YouTube and social media because it's always been a passion of mine. I also am a makeup artist. I'm super lucky that I got a job in a salon that I've been going to for a while and I'm just super excited. So yeah, that's kind of been just what I'm doing in terms of what jobs that I would want and I'm trying to pursue. So that's that. What else am I up to? Oh, I just recently moved into my sister's old room and I redid it, painted the walls, everything. I'm gonna make another video on that because it's not totally complete, but right now I have most of the stuff up. So that was really exciting because my room before that was very small and I always felt claustrophobic and I just hated it in there. So I moved into my sister's room and I'm so much happier already. So I feel like I'm kind of starting fresh because my older room also reminded me of high school and I feel like I just needed like a clean slate. So that's why I kind of moved in to my sister's room and yeah. Okay, somebody asked for a nose job update, which I'm so excited to give because it's been over a year now, so it's technically fully healed. I got it in May of last year. This is what she's looking like. I would have to say it was one of the best decisions I ever made in my whole life because it has made my confidence skyrocket. I feel so much better in my own skin, and I know plastic surgery is not for everybody, but it was a decision that I'm very happy that I made. I don't personally feel like you need to change how you look if you don't like it. I think there's other ways that you can definitely feel comfortable in your own skin without changing it. But for me, that was always something that I wanted to do since I was younger. So I just knew that my time was coming to get it. But like I said, it's not for everybody. I went to Dr. Guida in New York City. He is amazing. The experience was great. I have that video also up on my channel. And I really have nothing bad to say other than the fact that my nose just like still doesn't feel like a real nose. Like I can't explain it, but it's like when I touch it, it feels like funny. Like I feel like I can't press my nose flat down. I don't know if anyone has done this, but before I got my nose job, I would always like press my nose down because it was like cartilage and so you know it's just like you can move it now i can't do that and it really like freaks me out if i think about it too much but other than that I literally just have nothing but good things to say okay so somebody said update on your new friend group if you don't know i just recently met Brooke and Brittany Mooney, Amanda Politano, Carly Rohde, who is Amanda's best friend, Anna Hyde, 
and Deanna Reinhardt. We all met through social media and I'm so thankful that we did because we literally feel like we've known each other our whole lives. They are the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. I've never clicked with somebody so instantly. We have been doing a lot of fun things, which I'm sure you guys have been seeing on their channels. They came in my life at such a perfect time. Like my mental health was not good and they literally just like swooped in and just single-handedly made me feel so much better and I just love them so much. We got these matching zap bracelets so they're basically on us forever and that was really fun. I didn't vlog that but I know they did so if you guys want to see when we got that done go to their channel and yeah if you're watching I love you guys so much. On to the next question. Would you ever come to LA? I would love to come to LA. I want to go so bad. My sister actually just moved to San Diego, which is a couple hours from LA. So I'm definitely going to be visiting soon. I know all the girls want to go as well. So hopefully we can plan something that would be super fun. Maybe this will be a little foreshadowing moment and fast forward to like a couple months from now and we'll be in LA. Who knows? We'll see. Somebody said, did you and Sam find an ideal apartment? If you don't know, me and Sam have been apartment hunting for... A while now we're really just trying to find like the perfect and affordable apartment at once so we're not gonna rush into it we're really gonna wait until we find the one that we truly love and I know Sam had filmed when we went to this other apartment and we absolutely fell in love with it and we're still thinking about it like we might move in this apartment but we don't know yet if you want to see that experience you can head over to Sam's channel and she has that whole thing up and I literally dream about that apartment like it was so beautiful and just perfect but the price was a little crazy so we'll see somebody said how was having roommates how did you meet them so I actually just moved out of my college apartment with my college besties we met in sophomore year of college me and my friend Gab we both were looking for new roommates and we followed each other on Instagram and so I think I messaged her and oh my god, if I still have the DMs, I'm gonna put it up because that's really funny to look back on. Um, and I think I just messaged her being like, do you need a new roommate because I'm looking for one. She wound up needing one, so we all met and we clicked. Then senior year, we all got an apartment together like 10 minutes away from our school. And it was literally so much fun. But I'm also excited to start this new chapter in my life. It's like having a sleepover with your best friends like every night. If you are going into college, I would definitely suggest living with a group of girls because it is so fun and it makes your experience so much better. Where are your favorite places to shop? I would definitely say my three main places to shop would be Princess Polly, White Fox Boutique, and beginning boutique i think those three have really great clothes and they fit so well although some of them don't have the best customer service but i still think their clothes are worth it so i will continue to buy but i just recently found this small business the owner is so sweet we always do a bunch of collabs together and her clothes are literally amazing like better quality than these places out there that have such expensive clothing on their website her name is style muse boutique i'll put it up on the screen literally you have to go follow her she deserves so much more attention because her pieces are literally amazing i actually might do a little try on with the clothes that she sent me so if i do i will definitely tag her what are your favorite makeup products this is a great question because i just recently changed my makeup routine i've been loving the charlotte tilbury flawless filter which i know a lot of people have it's been like really popular on tiktok but i genuinely love this product like i will never not use it I actually literally only have this on with some concealer over it and I feel like it looks very nice and natural which I love because my skin does have a lot of texture on it so I don't like to do stuff that's going to make me look cakey so I like to keep it very natural glowy and yeah I love the Giorgio Armani concealer and then for contour I love the Rare Beauty contour stick it glides on like butter it blends out so good and I have that on as well I always love Hoola bronzer. I don't think I've ever used another one, so I don't really know if it's the best one, but that's just what I love. I'm looking to branch out and try other ones, but for right now, I would say Hoola is like the best bronzer. And then I just got a new mascara. It's the Tarte one. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's in a light purple bottle, and it makes my lashes so long, and they stay up so well because my lashes are very straight, so I have a problem with them staying up. But with this mascara, it really works 
so amazing. I've also been loving the Rare Beauty lip liners. They are similar to MAC. They glide on really smooth and they just stay on all day, which I love. Like I've had this lip combo on for literally three hours now and it looks just as good as when I put it on. Okay, I feel like I talked for so long, so I'm probably gonna end the video out here. Thank you so much for participating in this little Q&A and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more uploads. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.